Stead is asking for risk range on the Brazil's Bo Vespa. Uh, or, sneaky one there, huh? Mm, oh, it's getting sneakier, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can get that for you. Yeah, I can. Uh, low end of the risk range for the Bovespa is 8,271. 82,271, apologies, my eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, top end of the risk range is a lower high at 88,467. Gotcha. And then uh, might Just you... broke immediate term trade support yesterday. That's new for the Bavespa because the Bavespa had gone bullish trades uh, post election. Not a huge surprise. Mm -hmm. Again, if you uh, look on, I think it's slide twenty in our in our uh, process deck. Trades, trends, and tails. Just to define them for those of you that don't know what they are in terms of durations. Trades are three weeks or less. Trends are three months or more. Tails are three years or less. What Brazil is, it's a bearish tail risk setup long term, and it was a bullish trade. Now, if it stays broken, actually it's bouncing here today, it's dancing around trying to go bullish trade within a bearish longer term outlook. So again, for those of you who are trying to be a little bit more like me than how I used to be, which is again, relying on my fundamental thoughts and my education and the way things should be and the way things will be versus the way things are. Then you take two opposing thoughts inside your thick hockey skull and you say long term bearish tail, short term bullish trade. Do I short those? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs>